Greetings everyone. I want to welcome you to the Perry Stone YouTube channel and we have a very special insight that we want to share with you for the next few moments. If you've been keeping up with the news, you will know that there has been a lot of talk about a country called Iran. And in the news, it has been reported, and of course this comes from uh, military sources within Israel, within the United States, who know these things and have known these things for some time, that the government of Iran uh, is involved with uh, sponsoring terrorism against uh, Israel, but also terrorism in different parts of the Middle East. And so what I want to share with you is a little bit about the history of not Iran, but the biblical name that is used for this region of the world. The biblical name used is Persia. And you will study history, or if you have studied history the way that I have, you will discover several things. First of all, there was an empire in the time of Daniel which um, overthrew the Babylonian Empire, which was called the Persian Empire. And the Persian Empire uh, existed from uh, 539 BC for about 208 years. And uh, Alexander the Great and the Grecians came in and overthrew the Persians and later moved their headquarters to the same area where the Medes and Persians were, which was the Babylonian Empire. Now, in the time of the Babylonian Empire, the Medes and the Persians were very friendly toward the Jews. And the reason is because the, there was a Jewish orphan girl named Esther who married a Persian king. And because uh, she helped save the Jewish people in 100, and I think it's 127 providences, and her name was Esther. And an entire book of the Bible uh, tells her story, which is the book of Esther. So the Persians uh, were friendly toward the Jews. And when the Persians overtook the Babylonians, and this is in Bible history and secular history, then the... Um, Persians gave permission for the Jews to leave after 70 years of being in Babylon, return back to Judea, return back to Jerusalem, and rebuild the temple. And so uh, there was a time even in the country of Persia, which was called uh, in, the, in, the, in the 20th century, it was renamed from Persia to the country of Iran. But uh, in the earlier days, actually before 1979, there were Jews living in Iran. They got along well with the people. But then in 1979, if you'll remember, there was a, uh, a revolution by the Ayatollah Khomeini, and it was called the Iranian Revolution in the country of Iran. They overthrew the Shah of Iran, who was pro-Western, and they established a uh, government that is based on the theories and ideas of Shia Islam. And uh, just so that you'll know uh, that the about 90, there's two, there's two branches in the Islamic religion. There's the Sunni religion, uh, Sunni branch, I should say, of Islam, which is about 90% of the world's uh, Islamic population that practices Islam. There is a, another branch called the Shias, which are uh, the Iranians. That's where their headquarters are. And in, in, in in Iran, somewhere in the neighborhood of 90% of the people uh, profess to be of the Shia branch of Islam. And by the way, if you'll study their history from the death of their founder, Muhammad, um, I just want you to know they have, they have been fighting each other. I'm talking about the Shias and the Sunnis for hundreds and hundreds of years as to who is the true heir of their founder, Muhammad's um, legacy. So having said that, what is happening is that Persia has spent billions of dollars to set up what are called proxy organizations, which are military militias. And at one time, there were 11 named groups, Islamic Jihad, Hamas was supported by them, or has been supported by them, Hezbollah is supported by them. Hamas had about somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 40,000 people in the Gazan Strip that would be classified in the category of terrorists. Um, and Hezbollah has at this point about 20,000. That's just up in the area of Lebanon and the area of Syria. Uh, and all of these groups, these 11 groups are anti-Israel. And uh, uh, t t actually, they, a lot of them are also in Northern Africa and they're definitely scattered throughout the Middle East. Now here is just what I wanna tell you. This is the Persian Harbinger and I will not go into this in detail. I wrote a book called Unleashing the Beast that goes into detail because this is a two hour message given to you in about the next minute. In the country of Persia, among the Iranians and among the Shia branch of Islam, there are prophecies, predictions, and they're called apocalyptic Muslims. And what they believe is that Iran must initiate a war with the West. 
Iran will initiate this, and as a result, Allah, or God, will be with them, and they will destroy both Israel, and they will destroy the West, and they will become the leaders of the Islamic world, forming a new Islamic empire under a man that they name the Mahdi. The Mahdi is the last Islamic leader that both the Sunnis and the Shias are expecting to come. Now, they have different beliefs on who he is and how he comes. And when he comes, Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus, the son of Mary, is supposed to come with him, and they convert the entire world to Islam. Now, by the way, uh, my book, Unleashing the Beast, will explain to you how that is what they're teaching then, what they're teaching in Persia uh, fits the biblical narrative of the Antichrist of Bible prophecy up to him coming on a white horse, him making a treaty for seven years. And a, a Persian girl taught me many years ago in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, about the Mahdi. She was from Persia. She told me the apocalyptic prophecies that she was raised to understand. So a lot of my knowledge on this subject that I'm giving you or that I will give you in the book will we'll go into detail tell about that. So what I'm saying to you is this, that when you read Ezekiel 38 and 39, which is the battle of God and Magog, without a doubt, Persia is listed as one of the big ringleaders of that. Tagarma, which is the area of Turkey in Asia, what was Asia Minor centuries ago, they are a part of that. Libya is a part of that. Ethiopia is a part of that. That would also include the Sudan uh, or Somalia, I should say, uh, in northern Africa. And then you have uh, uh, southern Russia that's a part of that. So you have a lot of alignments that are taking place right now, and this is a harbinger of things to come. So I want you to keep this in mind, that this is not a political war. It is definitely not a war supporting the Palestinians. It is a war to destroy Israel, and it is apocalyptic in nature, meaning they are motivated. The Shias in Iran are motivated by their prophecies to set up their proxies to try to initiate what they've been teaching people for centuries, that they're going to be the world's leading superpower. It is also interesting to note that some of the greatest underground churches and Christians are found in Persia. Hundreds of thousands of young people under 30 years of age have secretly converted to the Lord. I know this for a fact and have house churches all over the country. And I won't say any more about that to protect them. But I want you to know that we are living in prophetic days. So if you'd like to order the book, this is not a book advertisement. I just wanted to mention that to you because when I do these YouTube videos, people often ask me, do you have something that would go deeper? Well, this one does. It's called Unleashing the Beast. It's a book I wrote sometime back that is more practical right now than, than when I wrote it. So uh, go to perrystone.org or you can contact Voice of Evangelism in Cleveland, Tennessee for that. But I wanted to just share with you that the harbinger is understanding the apocalyptic prophecies that Persia has that they are trying to fulfill through their proxies and by destroying Israel first and next the United States. By the way, I don't know about the United States, but that is never going to happen to Israel. God has a covenant with them. And when you fight against them, you're fighting against God. That's as simple as that. So it's not a political thing, but it is definitely a spiritual thing. So thank you for joining me for this uh, uh, session and God bless you. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well. Experience a personal spiritual breakthrough, fresh knowledge and a new understanding. Tap into God's wisdom while in your home, office, or driving by listening to the eight new messages from the 2023 International Main Event. Perry Stone's five new messages include three major prophetic updates that answer questions that many are asking. The titles are A Stern Warning to All Rapture Scoffers, Correcting Errors Being Taught Concerning the Great Tribulation, The Prophetic Missing Link of the Sign of Christ's Return, Included are two of Perry's most important warfare messages of 2023, shutting the door on Satan's ability to get into your life, the mystery that Satan tries to keep you from discovering. Along with Perry's five messages, when you order, you will hear Ron Carpenter unlock an amazing biblical mystery that will change your prayer life in his message. It's an inside job. Jensen Franklin shifted the atmosphere by exposing America's anemic Western Christianity in his message, I am not a professional Christian. John Kilpatrick received a visitation from the Lord, then presented an anointed spiritual manifesto entitled, First the Attack, Then the Blessing. These eight messages will help set an unshakable path for your spiritual walk and your expectations of a victorious outcome and prepare you prophetically for the future. You too can experience what thousands of others did when you order. 
The main event conference is available on audio CD, DVD, and audio USB drive. Also, for your convenience, the conference is available as video on demand at perrystone.tv. The eight audio CDs are offer number 23ME-CD and are available for a donation of $55. The eight DVDs are offer number 23ME-DVD and are available for a donation of $95. The eight messages on a USB drive are available for a donation of only $55. Request offer number 23ME-USB. Order today by calling 1-888-21-BREAD. That's 1-888-212-7323. Or order online at perrystone.org. You may also mail a check to Perry Stone, P.O. Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320. Order these messages today and uplift your spiritual life and help manifest with Perry Stone continue to reach the world. If you enjoyed this YouTube content, there's an important website you should know about, perrystone.org. Perrystone.org is an essential resource for the latest books, audiovisual presentations, and digital products from Perrystone Ministries, resources that cover the same kinds of topics discussed in the program you just watched. Stop in and see all that's available at perrystone.org.